Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Draft Day Sports Pro Basketball 2024. If you remember last time, we were trying to trade Isaiah Cravens uh, because he's causing disruptions amongst the team. We're going to go ahead and do that. Very first thing in this video, try to get some worth out of him because I'm just sick and tired of him. So uh, I kind of did some research off camera, and if you go to trade players, there's actually a really cool feature in this year. I didn't, I don't remember this being on last year's. I, to be fair, I didn't play last year's version as much as I have previous years. But uh, on this year's version, like you have this guy right here, Isaiah Cravens, and um, if you click another team, like let's say let's go to the Boston Irish. Uh, you can click Get Offer and. It will show you, well, they have no, they're not interested in this guy at all. This is no offer at this time over here. So uh, let's go to another team. Let's go to the, I would like to get a good first round draft pick out of them. I don't know if that's possible of happening, but uh, let's go to the Charlotte Wasps and get an offer. And they have no interest in him either, but I just like that you can click that and um, let me try to get a fair trade out of them. They want to give me Brett McNeil and a 2024 second round draft pick. And you can check out Brett McNeil if you want. I don't think I'll pull the trigger on this. Uh, he's only a two star player. And I, I wish that the second round draft picks were worth a little more on this game. Maybe this year is different, but in my experience uh, in past years of playing these games, the second round draft picks are almost always players that don't get very far. A lot of one or one and a half or two star players at best. You don't see very many two and a half star players or better going in the second round, which I realize is realistic to an extent, but It'd be nice if you got some Mono Ginobili's or some Draymond Green, some players who could really provide an impact every once in a while that you could get in the second round. It doesn't seem to happen with these games really at all. Maybe this year's different, but I'm not I'm not too interested in uh, second round draft picks. I like to sign second round draft picks to like a year contract just to kind of fill the team out some a lot of times. But um, I would like to. I mean Isaiah Cravens. Uh, as much problems as he's causing, he's a two and a half star player. So, you know, he's mediocre at least. He's got some decent qualities about him. I would like to have uh, at least a player worth of equal quality or a first round draft pick if I can if I can find something like that. Uh, I'm just going to keep clicking these teams that aren't very good. See if I can get a first round draft pick, but uh, once again, Brian Pabin, and you know, a guard could help us. Um, a mediocre guard or a two and a half star guard because our guard play is not great. I'm trying to find this, Brian. There we go. He's only two stars as well, so. Um, let's shop around a little bit more. Trey Heil, two stars. A lot of teams are trying to throw these second round draft picks in with a two star player. Seems like, and I'm just not, I'd like to get something a little bit better for him. All right, let's just start at the bottom and work our way up, see what we can get. I don't think we're going to be able to get a really decent first round draft pick. Of this guy. Well, here's Jarrett Abel and Eric Flores. That's two players for one player. Uh, Jarrett Abel is a one and a half star. Eric Flores is a two star. 
you know, that's not terrible. But normally, I, I feel like most of the time, the team that gets the better player wins the trade a lot of times. And I kind of want at least a two-and-a-half star player or a first-round draft pick uh, for this guy, if I can get one. But, man, I'm not getting a lot of great offers for him. Some of these teams are shying away from him at all. Maybe it might be better to wait until uh, around the all-star break, around the uh, trade deadline. A lot of teams aren't even giving me an offer. Okay. Oof. Okay. They are offering Carlos McCleary who has a $25 million contract. Obviously, they're trying to uh, clear up some cap room. I mean, man, this guy's averaging 23 points a game, seven rebounds. They're offering... I mean, that's kind of awesome. Um, we have the cap status for it. Why do they... It says that they win this trade, but this seems like... I don't know. It seems like it leans in our favor, in my opinion. Um, I mean, the second round draft picks are a dime a dozen players. You know, get rid of this guy. I think we have the cap room to do this. So I want to keep this in mind. These this New Orleans Condors trade offer. This will may very well be what I go with. I think I've already tried Milwaukee Moose and Miami Burn. Let's go to Memphis Roar. No offer once again. I don't want this video to be super long either. I feel like I say that every video, but thing about it is I can get so caught up in this game I can sit here and play for three hours honestly and I'll have not even realized that that much time is has passed by is I mean I can just I can play these games for hours at a time they're just very addicting to me even back in the day and I'm the kind of guy who would uh fire up NBA Live 06 and just sit and simulate uh, seasons and draft players and uh, good times. Even though Live 06 uh, simulation on that is extremely slow. I think the New Orleans Condors offer is the best I'm going to get. Do they still... Well, they're saying no off. You can only have one player in the trade. Oh, okay, I got you. There we go. I'm wondering if they'll still... I guess this is still up. Uh, I want to click on this guy real quick before we pull this. See what kind of player we're getting. He's... Okay, well, for one thing, he is aging. He is 34, so he is uh, on the downswing. Um, I'm wondering... I don't... Let's click on player profile. It says he's a guardian. Doesn't seem very greedy. Has really good durability. Work, work if it could be a little bit better. Playing time is not all that important to him. He seems very motivated. I don't. I'm not really worried about him not being. Hey, what happened? Uh, screen's a little glitched here. It looks like. I'm not too worried about him not being loyal because he's so, so much older anyway. He's going to retire soon probably. Let's go ahead and. I think I'm going to pull the trigger on this. It, it 
makes it to where we, uh, he is two years, so we could keep him this year and next year and then just let him go. So, to make this trade. And trade has been accepted. We no longer have to worry about Isaiah Craven's uh, whining. And hopefully, uh, I've already forgotten his name, this new player. Let's look at our depth chart. Hopefully McCleary, here he is, uh, isn't whining. And when Bennett comes back, hopefully it doesn't cause any problems with Bennett. I'm still hope, hopefully we'll start Bennett. Uh, McCleary can be a backup. Richardson uh, is probably going to be affected the most, probably going to take down his playing time considerably. And maybe at the trade deadline we can trade you know, Richardson for a, a draft pick or uh, something of that effect. I'm hoping to get uh, at least one more first-round draft pick because we're such a struggling team right now. We can click suggest on that, but I think it's already fixed as best it's going to get. Let's see how it clearly uh, works out for us. We're 7-15. and 15. Um, If you want to look at – one more time. We'll go look at the strategy we're using currently, which is – uh, so I guess we're trying the seven seconds again. Is this reverted? I do not remember changing this back to this. I remember doing perimeter focus and straight man to man last time. So do we still have? It looks like Fortson is still healthy. He's probably still our main scorer, but clearly. Here, um, or I'm sorry, Mc, McCleary is uh, not as big of a scorer as as Sportson. So let's try the perimeter focus. So a few more games at least. And we won. That's awesome. Looks like we got an injury, but... Um, let's wait for the box score down here. I wish there was a way that, um, you could just look at your team's box score. You kind of have to wait for it to pop up down here and then click it. I don't even know if you guys can see that bottom part of the screen. Uh, Aaron Fordson was the player of the game. Um, McCleary, our new player, had 20 points and 11 rebounds. So a double double. He played well. Uh, Fortson had, you know, Fortson 38 points. So he played great. Maybe that's what we go with is our perimeter focus with a man to man defense, straight man to man. Um, that might be the best. We have five injured players, though. That may be the best strategy for us. I'm going to upload one video today and one video tomorrow. Uh, if I can, while we're on the weekend, I got a couple of days off. Let's go ahead and uh, set the draft chart for the next game. You can set these games up to simulate for longer periods, but I don't like to do that. I like, I like to take one game at a time. Uh, make decisions as I go. I'm always afraid that something will happen that will happen and I won't know about it because I sim such a long, lengthy period. Um, I'll miss something. So I like doing one game at a time. We lost this game, but we're not going to win every game. The Rockets are a great team, and it was a way, so I'm not worried about that game losing it all that much. Uh, I might go ahead and just do till Christmas, um, and then Christmas up here at the top, and then stop this video, and maybe tomorrow's video, I don't know if I'll be able to make it to the All-Star break, but, oh, we don't have enough players or something to 
play this game. Let's see what's going on. We got the invalid roster settings uh, issue. Oh, maybe it's because McClinton is out and he's in the starting lineup. Throw this around. See if that'll work now. I don't know if that'll work or not. Let's see if it will. Oh yeah, and we won. And clear he had 33 points. I'm thinking that's going to turn into a great trade for us. Even if even if he's only around for this season or next season. Um, and we don't have any incidents so far. Let's go ahead and go against the waves here. Uh, once again, invalid roster settings. We probably needed to check our depth chart before we started that game anyway. Oh, now McCleary's out. Goodness. At least we got Bennett as a backup. And Richardson. Kind of got the team we started out with here. Lost that game. Two more injuries. Gosh. I think it's got to be a design in this game. He just bit. Players are uh, going to get injured a lot. You know, but that's okay. It is what it is. I'll try to find my best way to work around it as best as I can. Morale is low right now. That's not good. It says morale's low, but uh, most of the players have a green happy face. Uh, Spurgeon is, you know, that doesn't seem that bad. Uh, let's look at the depth chart before we play this game against the Condors. We're about to play against Isaiah Cravens on his new team. Shuffle this around. And Bennett has a sprained finger. He just came back and he's out again for two weeks. Oh boy. Rough start, guys. Rough start. It is what it is. Hopefully we don't get fired after the first season. At least we should get at least one good draft pick out of it. We draft a good point guard. We need a better point guard than what we have. Let's look at the depth chart here. I'm just going to go ahead and go till Christmas, like I said. And see where we are. So many injuries. McClinton, Bryant, Sonny, Lopez, and Bennett. McCleary is back after only... Didn't he just say he was out for... No, Bennett's out for two weeks, basically. Yeah, Cleary was out for a day. I just don't think we have a very good team, unfortunately. And our, our coaching staff isn't great. Portson's still healthy. I mean, that's... Um, 
you know, our points per game has gone up. Our defense is kind of staying the same with the straight main to man. It's at least not getting any worse. I don't know how to bump this assist up. I think we have the worst point cards of any team in this in this league right now. Just you know, I don't know if you can help that very much. Unfortunately, we're just not, not doing good at all. But you know. Ooh, an incident. Let's see what this is. Apparently, Steve Bennett took offense to something Josh Shepard said, and the F-bombs were flying. I hope it's nothing, but you may want to address it with the guys. Maybe you should have a meeting with each one of them. Both players' attitudes have dropped as a result of this incident. Coach Scott. Well, I don't want Steve Bennett causing problems. I mean, I think he's a guy we need to hang on to, but he's probably frustrated because, well, he's injured for one thing. There's nothing he can do in terms of helping us out. I don't know why he'd get a foul with Josh Ship, but that's a completely different. I mean, unless they just don't like each other. They don't even play the same uh, position, really. Let's go ahead and look at our, uh, I clicked the wrong thing. Here we go. What's going on? Dashboard. Forgive me. This is what I want to go to. Okay. Josh Shepherds is getting lower. McClinton. Yeah. A lot of these guys now are kind of starting to become, uh, Somewhat unnerved. But Josh Shepard, he's only a one and a half star player. I mean, you can get other guys that that does what he does. So I'm not that concerned. Bennett still seems happy despite being injured. Um, let's hope it was a problem that Shepard caused and, and we'll just you know, if it continues, we'll just release him or not re-sign him at the end of the season. I kind of just signed him for filler, more or less. Anyway, let's make sure our depth chart set for this game. Almost done here with this video. Time goes by quick playing these games. Uh, I get I get caught up in it, and like I said, I don't realize. What's going on? Um, I mean, part of me is thinking about just switching the balance for the rest of this season and leaving it at that. I don't think. Um, I don't know if we have an answer offensively. Um, or a certain way that'll play. Where we'll, where we'll win more games. Let's just switch to balanced and try that. And I want to try it for an extended period of time, probably at least until the All-Star break, and just see where we are. I don't expect to make the playoffs this first season. Hopefully we can get some better coaching staff. Uh, the guys we have, they're all under one-year contracts, if you click on staff here. So maybe we can make some different coaching uh decisions in the off season, help that out, get a good draft pick. Maybe we'll even sign some free agents. Uh, our cap status is, is hurt a little bit because we picked up uh, McCleary, but um, I'm glad we got McCleary. I think we're a little bit better, at least to some extent. Let's go ahead and play this game. And we won. We won this game. 10 and 20. You've won a third of our games. And this is Christmas Eve, so there are no games. I would like to look at the let's look at the box score real quick. It clearly was our best player for that game. 29 points, four blocks, two steals, 12 rebounds. Uh, he shot 
11 for 28 is not good. 2 for 12 from 3 is not good. So he took a lot of shots. But overall, he shot 51% from the field, which is not bad. Um, we're still not blowing anything away in terms of assist numbers. But... Feel like we'll just get better next season. We don't have any games on Christmas Day, so let's go ahead and simulate Christmas Day. And we'll stop right here. About to face the Utah Blues. Um, we got five injured players still. Before we turn it off, let's just once again let's uh, reshuffle our line here. Bennett, Lopez, Forts, it's out. Just for this game, though, I think one day injury. Bennett be back soon. Lopez back soon. These all look like nagging injuries where you'll only be out for a few more days. Hopefully those guys will be back. Um, and hopefully we stop having so many nagging injuries. I'm curious to see. Um, just look at the preview of this game. Utah is an eight-point favorite. They've only got one guy out with a broken hand, so um, you know our best players out, Forts, and, and our best rebounders out. So anyway, that's all I got for you this time. Uh, if you enjoy these videos, keep coming back. I'll keep pumping them out. Hopefully after Christmas, in real life, um, I'll start posting some more videos of different games. I like old school RPGs and uh, old school style platformers. Hoping to start playing some other games besides this once we get past Christmas going into the new year. And that's all I've got for you right now. So uh, we'll see you.